Hey guys, in this video we are going to go over power distribution boards, or PDB for short. This will be the first of many components we will discuss that are actually printed circuit boards. The PDB's main goal in your drone is to connect the separate electronic speed controllers for your motors, providing power from the battery to each individual motor. Understanding the very basics of a PDB is quite simple. In a drone, there are multiple components that require power, such as camera, video transmitter, receiver, flight controller, etc. And each of these have a power requirement. For example, most flight controllers can handle the full voltage of your battery, but many cameras can only accept up to 5 volt. If you were to use the full voltage from your battery to power these components, it would fry some of them which would make them unusable. For this reason, it is vital to be able to regulate this full battery power and distribute specific amounts of voltage and current throughout the drone. This is the purpose a PDB fulfills. PDBs, as a principle, are extremely important for any drone build, but having a PDB separate from the flight controller is becoming less common. Most flight controllers now have integrated PDBs already in the board. What this means is that along with all the solder connections for your signals, your flight controller will also have solder pads for 3.3 volt, 5 volt, battery voltage, or VBAT, and in some cases 12 volt power and will act as your PDB. If the necessary power connections for your components are not available on your flight controller, then having a separate PDB will be vital. Having a clean and stable source of power is extremely important not only to protect components from failure, but also to prevent electrical noise. Noise in this sense is referring to an unwanted disturbance in electrical signal. Excessive noise can result in losing connection to your drone or very poor video signal. This noise often comes from the large amount of electrical power being drawn by the motors. If an appropriate PDB system is not in place, this flow of current can interfere with your drone and in the end be detrimental to a well-functioning drone. Size and layout. All micro drones today have the PDB built into their flight controllers, but some of the larger drones, 5 inch and up, still require a separate PDB. For this reason, the standard size for a PDB is 30 by 30 millimeters. This refers to the distance between the standoffs on which you will mount your other components inside your frame. In some rare cases, the PDB may even be integrated into the frame. Another benefit to using a PDB can be to make the build and assembly of your drone cleaner. For this reason, it is important to do a rough sketch of your wiring layout before assembling your drone. By doing this, you can visualize where you want your solder pads to be to facilitate a clean build. This will help reduce electrical noise and mechanical failure due to tangled wires, voltages, and current capability. Like we mentioned before, the main reason for a PDB is to ensure that all components in your build have a connection that can provide the regulated voltage that they need. These specifications can be found in the details of each product in the manual or on the purchase page. It is important to know this information because selecting an appropriate PDB is dependent on this information. Another important factor to look at is current requirements. Typically when you see ratings for boards and the power they can supply, you will see something like this, 12 volt 2A. The first number is the voltage rating that we discussed earlier, but the second number is the current rating in amps. This becomes important as you run larger components off of your PDB. For most components, their current draw will be less than 1 amp and might not even be specified because it's so low. However, if you want to power something larger like a GoPro off of your PDB, you will need a greater current capability. Otherwise, the device will overdraw the board and you will lose power completely. The functions of PDBs are instrumental in keeping your drone safe and regulated. Whether your PDB is a separate board or integrated with your flight controller, the need for reliable, stable, and clean power is essential to having clear signal and protecting components. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material designed to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.